guys welcome back to beers and gears today we're going to be putting new struts on the civic because this thing's looking lower than the prices at walmart start by taking the 17 millimeter bolt out right here and that has a nut on the other side of it and then there's another one right up here this is a 14 millimeter Now that we have our nut off, we're going to take a punch and punch this bolt through. We're going to get this 14 millimeter pinch bolt out. Since it pinches the fork together around the strut, there's no nut on the back. You just pull it out. Okay, now that we have both bolts out of the fork, we're gonna pull it out of the bottom of the strut. After you got it out of the bottom of the strut, just let it hang there, because it has to go back up in the new one. All right, we got the fork off the strut. Now I need to unbolt the strut from the strut tower. So we'll come up here to the top. We gotta undo this bolt right here and this bolt right here you can take a paint marker or something to mark the front bolt in the shock just something so you can remember what the front was that way when you have this out you can compare the top hat to the other strut and make sure that it's the same when you put it back in these two nuts are also 14 millimeter as well Everyone likes a surprise now and then, so give her the old reach around so she don't fall on the floor when you take your second nut out. Here's the port number for an OEM replacement strut for the driver's side, for the front. These 
these should come with new hardware for your top bolts. A good look at this because when we put this back on the back of that, I don't know if you guys can see that, this little tab goes in between the pinch on the fork. So when that pinch bolt goes through, it sits behind it like that. So it'll be pinched in between the fork like that to keep it from moving around. Once you have your new strut fed up through, go ahead and thread your nuts on the top. will help keep that in place so it won't fall down when we're trying to put this back in the fork and we don't want to tighten them up yet until all the weights on the vehicle and then we'll torque them just back okay this is probably gonna fight me a little bit to get it up on back on the fork but I want to take this opportunity to show you that tab I was talking about and where it needs to go in relation to the fork and the strut. Man, this is a bitch. Looking at the back of this, this little tab I was talking about has to go in between here. So when you run that pinch bolt through, it keeps the strut from moving. So we'll be able to feel whenever that's in, in the back, and that'll keep that from rotating. We got the tab between the pinch bolt. Now before we tighten that pinch bolt up, we're going to get the bolt in the bottom of the fork first. That way all the weight can settle on that and get pushed down before we tighten it back up. I'm going to slide a jack in under here and support the weight of the car on the suspension so I can run the bolts through and torque them to spec. Since we have the weight of the car on the strut, we can go ahead and tighten these up. If you're torquing them to spec, they're 36 foot pounds. Alright, this bottom bolt here gets torqued to 47 foot pounds. Okay, with the weight of the car on the suspension, one last time, take a peek, make sure your pinch bolt didn't move and that thing's still in line with where it's gonna sit on the strut. That little tab and we can go ahead and tighten that up. That one gets tightened to 32 foot pounds.
Now we can go ahead and put our wheel back on. It might be a good idea, you know, if you're doing this for the first time and you want to keep an eye on things to make sure they're not moving on you, just take a paint marker or a piece of chalk or something and mark your bolts in relationship to where they're at on the fork so you can see if they're moving at all. I'm not going to do any of that because this thing has 310,000 miles on and she still runs like OJ Simpson. So that's good enough for me. The wheels fall off of it. I'm pretty confident it'll keep on going. In case you're wondering, these get torqued to 80 foot-pounds, if it matters to you. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, if it helped you out. Give me a thumbs up, give me something, comment, whatever. Repeat the same process for the other side, and you're good to go. I'll try to make a video on the rear struts so you can see how to do that, and that should be everything you need to know. Thank you. Really should fix that oil leak. Ah, it's fine.